Why is it so difficult to send humans beyond the moon? The human race has been able to place robots on Mars, send spacecraft to all the gaseous planets, and even send an exploration probe to Pluto. However, we have been unable to send humans beyond the moon and probably still have a long way to go. Why is it so difficult to send humans beyond the moon? Let's find out. In 1969, NASA managed to put on the surface of the moon the first human beings. As Neil Armstrong said, this was a small step for man, but a great leap for all of humanity, since it was the first time that we set foot on a world other than Earth. Time has passed more than half a century, and not only have we not gone further, but we have not returned to the moon. In a past video, we explained why it is so difficult to return if we have already gone in the past. But even if we were to return to the moon, it would be tough to go any further, and that's because the technology needed to do so is just beginning to be tested. The First Attempts When the first humans arrived on the moon more than half a century ago, the spacecraft they traveled on was the Apollo, which had to orbit the moon repeatedly to land. After exploring the lunar surface, they rejoined the command modules to return to Earth. In total, six missions and 12 astronauts managed to step on the lunar surface. But since then, this incredible feat has not been repeated. Why? A very difficult challenge to take on. The journey beyond the moon is a much more difficult task than it seems. One of the biggest challenges is cost. Traveling beyond the moon is much more expensive than sending missions to the moon. For example, NASA spent about $25 billion on the Apollo program, which took astronauts to the moon. For example, if you wanted to send a human crewed mission to Mars, the cost would be at least 100 times higher. No government or company is willing to spend so much money on a mission that does not immediately benefit humanity. In addition, many technical and physical problems must be solved before humans can be taken to other planets. One of the biggest challenges is the radiation problem. When humans travel beyond the protection of Earth's magnetic field, they are exposed to much higher radiation levels than those on Earth. This can have adverse effects on astronauts' health in the long term. During the trip to the moon, the astronauts did not suffer the effects of radiation because the mission lasted a few days. During most of the mission, they were locked inside the spacecraft, which had special coatings that protected them from radiation. But during a more extended trip, things change. Even if the spacecraft they travel on has the same protection systems as the Apollo spacecraft, there are particles of radiation from deep space which no insulation can protect them. Exposing yourself to this radiation for a few days is not harmful, but if the mission lasts several months or years, a long-term trip in deep space can cause long-term health problems, such as cancer and DNA damage. Advanced radiation protection technology such as radiation shields and shielding materials are being developed to solve this problem. Still, no spacecraft can protect astronauts from radiation for extended periods in deep space. By the way, would you like us to make a video explaining how the astronauts who went to the moon managed to get through the Van Allen belts? Let us know with your valuable commentary. Food and Water It's clear that in space, there are no supermarkets or anywhere to pay for the supply of food, water, and oxygen for astronauts. This was not a problem on the moon because the mission was short and enough supplies could be carried from Earth. But on a longer journey such as to Mars, a sustainable source of supplies for astronauts would be needed. To solve this problem, before making a trip to any destination beyond the moon, all those resources such as food, water, and equipment would have to be carried in a ship that would arrive at the destination point several months before the crew takes off from Earth. This spaceship with supplies would stay at the destination, waiting for the crew to arrive later with everything necessary to extend your stay a few months or maybe a few years. The journey to Mars is much longer than the journey to the moon. The shortest mission to Mars lasted about six months, and the return mission lasted another six months. During that time, astronauts would have difficulty communicating with their loved ones. This can have a substantial psychological impact on astronauts and require extensive mental preparation as well as a follow-up of their activities and control of emotions. Speaking of emotional stability in space, what if an astronaut suffers from a fit of madness? Suppose this happens during a mission of several years. 
In that case, the rest of the crew must tie him up and put him to sleep with tranquilizers until he stabilizes. Otherwise, he represents a danger to himself and the rest of the crew members. Fortunately, this has never been necessary, but it is unknown what behaviors or psychological problems astronauts could present after spending many years in space. Another major technical problem is communication. The distance between Earth and Mars varies depending on the position of the planets in their orbits. At the time of maximum separation, the distance is about 400 million kilometers. This means that communications between astronauts and Earth would have a delay of up to 22 minutes, making it difficult to make real-time decisions. Astronauts who want to go beyond the Moon will be alone as they will not be able to communicate with Earth instantaneously as they would on the Moon. Technological Challenges The propulsion system is one of the critical technologies needed to travel beyond the Moon. Chemical rockets currently used to reach the Moon are not efficient enough for longer trips. Therefore, more advanced propulsion systems, such as plasma engines or ion engines, are needed, which are more efficient and can provide the speed needed to reach other planets in less time. In addition, more advanced life support systems must be developed to keep astronauts alive during the long journey. This includes water and air purification, recycling and food production. In addition, radiation protection systems are needed to ensure the health of astronauts. Another technological challenge is the development of space vehicles capable of supporting the journey beyond the Moon. Space vehicles needed to be designed to withstand the long duration of travel, radiation, temperature changes, and zero gravity. As for the question of when we might see the first manned missions beyond the Moon, this will largely depend on technological progress and investment in space exploration. NASA is working on the Artemis program to get astronauts back to the Moon by 2024. This is an essential step towards exploration beyond the Moon, but a lot must be done before humans can travel to other planets. By the way, we recommend you watch our trilogy of videos about the Artemis program, where we explain each stage of this new space program that seeks to take the new generation of astronauts to the Moon. To get to Mars, NASA has set a target date of the 2030s. However, this will depend to a large extent on technological progress and investment in space exploration. NASA has been developing advanced propulsion systems, life support systems, and space vehicles capable of traveling beyond the Moon. In addition, plans are underway to collaborate with other space agencies, such as the European Space Agency and the Russian Space Agency, to make exploration beyond the Moon possible so it is not yet clear if these dates are too optimistic. Base on the Moon To go beyond the Moon, we must first govern the Moon, and sadly for that, there is still a long way to go. The possibility of using materials on the Moon to build structures protecting astronauts from radiation is being investigated. The Moon has a regolith layer, which is a layer of dust and loose rocks covering its surface. This regolith could be used to build protective structures for astronauts such as habitats and lunar bases. A lunar base could be a crucial stage to take humans beyond, as it would allow the exploration and study of our natural satellite and serve as a starting point for manned missions to other planets. Building a lunar base would require advanced construction and power supply technologies, life support, and radiation protection systems. Building a long-term lunar base would allow for continued scientific research and the development of technologies that could help take humans beyond the moon shortly. The first mission The first manned mission attempting to go beyond the moon would be historic and challenging. Since we've never gone this far, this mission would require meticulous preparation and technology involving the most advanced ideas and help of humanity's brightest minds. The mission would be crewed by a team of highly trained and experienced astronauts with diverse skills in areas such as engineering, medicine, and geology. As for a number of astronauts, it could be a team of four to six people. Although it is difficult to predict the exact gender composition of the team, given that NASA and other space agencies seek to foster inclusion and diversity, the team is likely to include equal members of men and women. The mission's duration would depend on the distance to be covered and the target destination. If the mission were to Mars, for example, the total duration of the mission could be several years, including travel time and time on the planet's surface. 
However, if the mission were to a nearby asteroid or comet, the duration could be a few months. Regardless of the duration and goal of the mission, advanced technologies would be needed to ensure astronauts have what they need to survive in deep space. Advanced propulsion and navigation systems would be needed to get the crew safely to their destination and to ensure their return to Earth. Advanced communication systems would also be needed to ensure astronauts can always communicate with Earth and receive support from mission control teams. In conclusion, deep space exploration has been a significant challenge for humanity. Although we must overcome many technical difficulties, we are getting closer and closer to carrying out a human crewed mission beyond the moon. As we continue to explore and discover the universe, we become inspired and driven to discover more about ourselves and our place in the cosmos. Space exploration has proven to catalyze innovation, technology, and discovery. It has led us to develop technologies applied in areas such as medicine, energy, and security. Deep space exploration shows us how small we are in the vast universe and how great we are in our ability to explore and discover the unknown. We can overcome challenges and accomplish incredible feats, like sending humans beyond the moon with perseverance and commitment. So let's keep dreaming, let's keep exploring, and let's keep looking for new ways to discover our universe. Because ultimately, it is the human spirit of exploration and discovery that will lead us to reach for the stars. And you, when do you think we'll see the first human crewed mission beyond the moon? Let us know your opinion with your valuable comment.